Do you start from zero? You want to become an IT hero. It's more about what not to do than what to do. Stay with me until the end of this video. I will explain you six critical things that will transform you from zero to an IT expert. When I started my IT career, I had three things. Number one, a degree in history and philosophy. Number two, a temporary work as a dishwasher. Number three, hundreds of people who were absolutely certain that I couldn't reach my goal. So what happened afterwards? Well, currently I'm 51 years old, so a lot of things. But to summarize and to be brief, I spent all my career in IT earning over six figures, and today I'm in pre-retirement in Thailand. And by the way, I resigned when I was 46, so five years ago. So you may wonder, how did I do it? Well, let me give you a step-by-step -step guide. Six points, six common mistakes. If you avoid these six mistakes, you can do exactly what I did and even more. Number one, and this is really a general advice that I give you for your life. Ignore other people's opinion. You see, people have opinions on everything and they will always find a reason why you can't do something. So they will explain you exactly why you cannot do that. So you just ignore it. But when I say ignore it, I really mean it. Number two, observe the market. This is very important. You need to understand what the market wants, learning exactly the skills that the market wants, going back to the market, giving back to the market exactly what the market wants. And if your objection on this is, well, it's not that easy, is because you are thinking about rejection. So let's go to point number three. Number three, handle rejections. When you start applying for IT jobs, you'll be rejected, 100%. Now, what people do, they go back to the same people. They told them at the beginning that you couldn't do this, and they will say, you see, and they will confirm that they were right. Therefore, they quit. This is nonsense. It's really ridiculous. What's a rejection, after all, is again, other people's opinion, this time a company. And they say to you, well, you don't have experience, therefore you can't do the job. In my case, they told me, well, you have a degree in history and philosophy, therefore you can't do the job. I simply ignore it. Other people were saying, well, you're a dishwasher, therefore you have to do a dishwasher. What a kind of... <laughs> I mean, maybe there is a logic behind, but it's quite silly. I just ignore it, it's an opinion. Now. What I say to my students is, go to the market, get 100 rejections. And you may think, well, but this is crazy. Why you do that? Well, because nobody can get 100 rejections. And it's not a matter of handle rejections here. It's a matter that when you go for enough time to the applications, at the end, you'll get a job. Number four, stop wasting time. People believe that the best way to learn is building the lab on your own. There is nothing further from the truth. The truth is that if you really want to learn, you need to go to live sessions with people who already arrived where you want to arrive. That way you'll focus completely on the hands-on experience and the labs are already pre-configured for you. So you'll focus on the protocol. Number five, reorganize your sleep and your environment. You need to be able to go to sleep early every night and wake up early every morning, same time every single day. You need to rebuild your routine because you see, if you want to do these things, chances are you are already in a stressful job and you have already so many other things to do. You need to find the right time, the right energy. So again, the only way is go to sleep early, wake up early, same time every single day and reorganize your environment. If you have a mess in your environment, you can't do this. You need to have a tidy environment you need to have the right program so that you focus on the hands-on experience. Now, when you have the experience from the trainer, you have the labs, you understand the protocol, you focus on the practical experience, now you can go to the job interviews and you can finally get a job. Number six, focus on the hands-on experience. Even if you do perfectly what I told you so far, but you fail here, your life will become miserable. So if you want to avoid the failure 99% of people experience in IT, just observe what they do and do something different. So let's see what they do. Number one, they get programs without trainer assistance. 
This is completely nonsense. You can't do everything on your own. I already explained you. You need a trainer. You need someone who already arrived when you want to arrive. And you have the right to ask questions when you want, when you have, when you need. Number two, they memorize questions to pass the exams. This is nonsense. It's completely useless. Memorizing questions is the opposite of what you have to do. Why? Because what you have to do is, number three, hands-on experience. See, majority of people focus on theory only. There's nothing worse than that. You don't arrive anywhere and you have the illusion that you are learning, 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 whilst at the end of the day, you need to focus on the hands-on experience. Remember, every single day of your life, when you are at work, will be a day of experience. Yes, you need to learn how to study, but you need to learn how to practice. So what's the solution? Well, you need to practice. You need to do the hands-on experience. You need to learn how to pass any job interview. If you want to do this with us, we have a fantastic live program. Schedule immediately a Zoom session with me. Link in the description below. These are the six points. I hope you like this video. Subscribe. Thanks.